Hi everyone, and welcome to Maybe TV Asks, episode 8, A Romanticism. So, A Romanticism, from my um, knowledge, um, is a lack or a little amount of romantic attraction. And I don't know much about being a romantic. I'm not a romantic myself. So, I've brought someone here that we're going to interview and we're going to together learn about what it's like to be a romantic. So, let's go to the interview. So, <laughs> hi, hello. Um, hi, hello. What's your name? What do you do? Tell me a little bit about yourself. My name is Gode or Amy. Um, I'm British, 14, and I live in England. Um, I don't do much. I just have a bunch of hobbies like drawing, playing, games, and talking to my friends and stuff like that. The usual. Boring. So you're a romantic, right? Yes. What does it mean to be a romantic? To feel little or none romantic attraction to anyone anything okay H how did you know that you were a romantic or a romantic <laughs> it might have been the significant lack of romantic attraction to anyone could have been that <laughs> <laughs> okay uh that makes sense <laughs> Um, I just didn't like people. I just didn't like anyone for years. I watch everyone around me be like, oh, I have a crush on this person. I have a crush on them. And I just be like, I have a crush on him when I don't. Yeah. Everyone around me be falling in love with people. And I'm like, so does this mean I have to like someone when I don't like anyone? And it was sad. It was very traumatic. Mm. Pretending to like people when I don't. Then How do you bust them out? That was a bad part. That was a horrible part. Very <laughs> <laughs> How do you think a romantics are portrayed in the media slash culture? Well, in a way, they really kind of aren't. They um, <laughs> in a way, they're kind of underrepresented. Um, you don't mm. get a lot of uh, conversation or media about a romanticism. I remember it's a really overlooked part of the LGBT spectrum because no one really knows about it. Everyone's educated and they don't really have that much exposure online. They get brushed over as just, hey, another one of those funny little LGBT sexualities, throw it to the side. Mm. But um, it, when it is represented, it's all represented sort of as a sort of thing where you just don't feel any sort of attraction to anything it's kind of like a oh you don't like you like don't like anything you you, you just don't like anything when really it can be little to none so you can find romantic attraction but it's very rare and it's very little amount of mm. uh what are some of the challenges you've faced being a, a romantic um, trying to fit in and understand people's emotions. As a person who, well, currently I am in a relationship, I feel the romantic attraction now. But before, oh, where was I? Um, trying to fit in, understand, right. Before I met this person, or a while back actually, let's say, um, understanding people's romantic attraction to other people is difficult. And why understanding why they'd get upset about it so much was difficult. So I would struggle with um, comforting my friends who had just gotten out of a breakup, or who would be like, "Oh my god, I like him, but he likes someone else." It's like ask them out. That's not how it works. Um, <laughs> I fail to understand the um, severity of these emotions, mm. and in a in a way. Because of that, I've never really been able to identify if I've actually liked someone or not. Which is why I identify as a romantic, because I've never really liked someone that much. Like, as much as it's portrayed romantic attraction, I've never really found someone so enticing that I want to be with them for the rest of my life. 
um, or just spend every day with them. Uh, there's also the whole, hey, I like this person, who do you like? And when you respond with, oh, I don't like anyone, they're like, no, that's not possible, you definitely like someone. Mm. Okay, yeah, just just having to fit in with you, like, you have to fit the social norm, you are attracted to someone all the time, you have to be. <laughs> what advice would you give to to people who have just learned about the a- their aromanticism. As someone who is aromantic? Yeah. Um, don't stress out too much. Don't try all the time to force yourself into liking someone. Because either it just won't come if you're forcing it, or, you know, you just don't like people. If it's a thing where you know, you're trying to always find someone to be in love with, it might not ever happen. It might happen, but don't push it. Don't stress out with being or having a lack of romantic attraction. Just live your life loving yourself. You don't have to love other people. People suck. What can I say? <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, you're in a relationship currently. Um... <laughs> How long have you been in that relationship, and how is the, like, romance in that relationship? It, I believe it's been two months and two weeks. Um, around about that time, not keeping track. <laughs> 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 how has it been? I don't know how to, what, how to describe it, really, how to respond to this. Um, mm. I'm attracted to this person, in a way I'm attracted to nobody else. So I'm assuming it's good. I'm assuming it's going well. On this other side, yeah, they, they definitely, they're definitely romantic attracted. They're romantically attracted to me. They head over heels for me. What can I say? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. No, <laughs> you're fine. I'll say it's pretty good. I'd, I'd say it's pretty good. I'd say it's going pretty well. Yeah. Okay. I'm lucky. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> um. What have your past relationships been like when you just haven't felt it for your partner? <sighs> Traumatic. <laughs> Traumatic. It's been really, um, uh, it's difficult because all, all I ever really wanted was friends. People who I could platonically love and they would platonically love me back, minus all of the romantic stuff. Mm. Unfortunately, that's a trend where people tend to love me. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> but, um, and it's, oh, it's, they've been very draining because I'll be always trying to be like, okay, just force these emotions out of you which don't feel natural. They aren't real. And it's always like, hey, I love you and they're like oh my gosh I love you too and they're like oh I, I want to spend all the time with, in my life with you and you're like oh I don't what's this all about and then when it comes <laughs> to the end of it it's all like it's all like back there are in, in floods of tears they're all like I, I, I love you I, 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 you mean so much to me and I was like oh I like, I care about them, of course I care about them, I, I, I like, you know, I am attracted to them platonically, but not romantically, the way they're attracted to me. It ends up me feeling really, really bad, and blaming my <laughs> blaming myself for it, when really I can't help it, and it's just a horrible cycle. Um, so that's all the questions I have for you, so, yeah, that's it. Really? Yeah, thank you. What did you, what, what did Peace. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a good one.